Hello everyone, it's Ashwin Rao. Today's video brings you a style that has been less talked about in the boot enthusiast community coming from one of the boot enthusiast community's most popular makers. For those of you who are into heritage boots and elevated high quality rugged wear, you're certainly familiar with Viberg and you're probably familiar with a number of their specific lasts and shapes such as the 2030 last and their 310 last. Occasionally you might come across their 2040 last. This is a pair of country boots that I acquired on the used market, got cleaned up for y'all and am now presenting to you because I think it's a really cool makeup and it's maybe a less appreciated model. So the country boot has a unique profile that has this side paneling that arcs just before you get to the neck of the shoe and has a more traditional plain toe in this case um, and then it has this step off into the facing that drapes upwards also has a cool somewhat hourglass shaped back heel counter and a pull tab that you can see right here this particular makeup was done originally by Brooklyn Clothing out of uh, Canada and featured their lug sole, um, their commando style sole that you can see here with the Goodyear emblazoning there. It's done with a more natural colored edge dressing and Vibram's highly regarded outsole stitching, which in this case, this particular model is very well done. You can see how clean this double row stitch down construction is throughout its 270 degree arc. And this particular model is built on the 2030 last, which for those of you who are familiar with Viberg will immediately know what I'm talking about. It's this more rounded toe, slightly almond shaped, slightly elongated last that takes a more rugged look and stretches it slightly. Um, it's become very popular because it's a quite versatile last. It's one that I think that if you become interested in Viberg, you will certainly become interested in this particular last because it is so popular, because it is so versatile, because it goes with a wide range of styles. So the 2030 last is the most common last that I've come across at least in 2022 for the service boot style, but it's also been employed in this country boot, um, which gives it a more lean, slightly more tapered look to it, but yet creates plenty of space. This is a size 9.5, which is on the upper limit of what my Brannock 10D feet would like. I'm between a nine and a 9.5 in, in the Viberg 2030 last styling for those of you who are interested in sizing. The leather is another thing that really attracted me to this particular model. This is done in a Merriam Tannery washed horsehide in a dark brown color. Washed horsehide has a slightly thinner handle. So if I bring it up here, it's actually a slightly thinner, softer handle, which is actually fairly common amongst horse hides. But it also has this unique grain characteristic to it. You can see some of the, the more macro style texture and as I mentioned, if I pull in, there's a textural element to this leather that's almost stippled. I don't know the best way to put it. It's not really stippled. It's not really a suede nap, but it has this kind of rugged grain-like structure that's this sort of micro um, texture followed by this more macro. You can see the, some of the shapes and the contours in here. And this is a leather because of its handle will tend to roll rather than crease. You can see as I flex the shoe through its flex point, it's going to be more likely to roll and then restore its shape. So a really cool leather and one that doesn't often get featured in Viberg's um, releases. And the dark brown color, which is actually kind of a mid-brown, almost a gray brown in this case, I thought would be a nice fit for a country boot in a more casual style to accompany these antique brass eyelets, you can see seven eyelets here. And I replaced the laces that came with the shoe with my Mason and Smith braided dark brown laces, 120 centimeter length. I like the fact that the outsole stitching done here is done with a slight contrast that sets it apart 
and provides a little bit more distinction between the upper and the sole and the edge dressing that's provided here. I wanted to provide you with a few other views of this boot just so you can appreciate the style and look that Viberg offers. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you find it informative. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment, but please like and subscribe to my channel if you value this content. It certainly helps me get this video as well as the others on this channel to more viewers. Hope you're all doing well. Have a good one. Viberg Country Boat 2030 Last Lug Commando Style Sole Natural Edge Dressing and this beautiful Merriam washed horsehide in a dark brown makeup. Hope you're doing well. Bye-bye.